Hi everyone, it's Brenda. I'm here to share with you a quick video. Um, just of a, I guess, a real-time inking. And this is in my lettering book. It's been quite a while since I worked in this. And I thought it was about time for me to get back to it. Um, and if I go quiet, I'm going to apologize now because... If you've been watching my videos, you know that <clears throat> sometimes I find it really hard to concentrate and draw and talk at the same time, so I get confused and will either lose train of thought, which happens most of the time, <laughs> or I will mess up on the my inking, so please bear with me. But yeah, I did want to share with you guys what I'm working on today. And for this book, what I'd like, what I, my goal for it is to fill it up eventually. Only one side, at least I don't require myself to do both sides of the paper. Just because sometimes the medium you choose um, will bleed through. So, I don't want to ruin the picture on the opposite side. Plus this is a bound book and if you know me I'm not 100% fond of these books um, only because I find myself having issues with drawing when it gets close to that section. Um, the binding actually gets in the way and <clears throat> for me I mean I can do it but if I had my choice I would rather do the spiral bounds like my small little one I do for my doodle day section. And today's project is a timepiece. And the saying is, time is making fools of us again, which I really like. And speaking of time, I mean, I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but oh my gosh, has the year been going by so quick? I mean, the last few years, honestly, I guess it's once your kids hit a certain age, you know, time just really starts flying. And both of my kids are now in college, so yes, time has really flown by. <laughs> um, and it just seems like the other day <clears throat> it was the beginning of the month, and now here we're starting a new one, which is just... Unbelievable. I remember when I was a kid, I don't ever remember time going that fast. I remember not being able to wait for Friday to roll around so we didn't have to go to school. <laughs> and then we couldn't wait for summer to get out of school and to hang out with our friends and whatnot. And now it's like you get up in the morning, you get a few things done and whatnot, and before you know it, it's dinner time. It's like, where did the day go? So, guess what I'm saying is there just really isn't enough hours in the day anymore. <laughs> Not for me, at least. But I do have to say that days, like, where you have, like, things that you have to do, like the doctor's appointment and, or work or whatnot, sometimes those are the days that actually last. They drag on and on and on and on. They never seem like they're going to get by and can't wait to get back home or whatnot. And the uh, the doodles, doodles, drawing, sketches, whatever you want to call them in here, um, I won't classify them as doodles and I wouldn't classify them as finished pieces. They are more sketches to me. Um, just basic ideas. Um, I consider it a full piece once it's like highly detailed. And I don't have anything in here highly detailed yet. These are just quick little things that I sketch out that 
I really like and want to remember. So this way, maybe later down the line, if I want to make a finished piece, this would be included in it. It wouldn't be, it might be the main focus, but there would still be more going on in the background. Whether it be tribal art, Zentangle, um, maybe a scenery to do something like, since it's a time piece, maybe to do something like um, Salvador Dali, you know, um, but just in itself, I mean, I guess it is a finished piece, but not for what I would like it to be. I did put a piece of paper back behind it. It's a good time to check now, huh? <laughs> okay, so we got the timepiece done. Now it's going to be for the saying. And I'm hoping... <clears throat> that the camera angle is okay for you guys. It does get a little tedious for me holding the paper in one position, but I'm gonna try at least on this because this is not a book that I could kind of fold over and uh, swirl to get a better angle for myself. So I'm gonna do this the best I can because I have the tripod right here between me and the book. So it's a little awkward to say the least. And I'm probably going to leave the letters uncolored instead of filling in the um, thickness parts, which I have outlined to give more detail. Only until I go back later and decide if I actually really want to add to that, because sometimes I think when I do that, I really ruin from, you know, ruin the picture in my mind and take from it where the simplicity of it actually makes it look better, if I'm making sense. Because <laughs> right now I think the simplicity of this actually makes the timepiece and the saying kind of be cohesive instead of one standing out more than the other. And there is the first section, and we just have a few more words. And let me see. Take another piece of paper. Sorry to cover the work, guys, but I really don't want to smear the ink that I just laid down. And due to the way I have to hold the book, I kind of have to cover it for now. I love trying new fonts and um, kind of making out my own as I go. This one was just one I've done for like the longest time. It's just like almost a simple calligraphy because it's just on your downstroke is where you're going to put 
your thick line except for like on your swirls and embellishments sometimes I leave those it just depends on which I'm feeling at the moment um, but that's the beauty of doing art is you make it what you want it and how you like it unless of course it's a commission then you know you work together with the customer which I do on occasion if you're interested you can just message me about that all my information is in the links below and now I can take this away so you can see it again <laughs> which is funny because that's the last word Now I'm not going to go back and erase the um, pencil lines until probably a few hours just to make sure that the ink sets. Um, even with a regular ball ink, ballpoint pen ink, you want to wait a while because it does not dry immediately. Um, and I am using uh, the Precise V5 that I had shown you, which is a rolling ball pen, but it's gel-like ink, so if you touch it's clear but once you put enough you know it won't transfer off on you because it does dry pretty quickly but if you put another piece of paper down on it pretty quick like if I fold this up it will transfer here not completely but there will be little lines so when you erase it will smear which I do not like at all <laughs> okay so thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate you for sticking around and seeing what I'm up to and sharing a little bit of your day with me. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.